Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Voice of the Voices. We're the Ohio guys. I'm Ansel Young, she's Lucy Christian, and we're coming to you from Anime Matsuri in Houston, Texas. How are you doing today, Lucy? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I just I just sprinted up here. Just barely got you in time for this interview. He does know who I am. Yes. I am oh, not. of course. Um, I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Yeah, you just you just catch your breath. <laughs> okay. So the first show, one of my personal favorites, One Piece. What was it like working on that? One Piece. Um, or is like it is, is still going on. Yeah. It's still ongoing. It's awesome. So One Piece was the voice actor lottery um, because everybody knew whoever got cast in it would be working for a long time and here we are however many nine ten years later and it, we're not even near done not near they're still making it um but it's wonderful there was all this pressure to want to be great and to make the fans hopefully make something that the fans would love and um I think we all felt that pressure. So I and I think it's successful. Like I think Funimation has done an excellent job of turning that series out. Cool. Another show you worked on, Gunslinger Girl. What was it like working on that? It was wrenching. It was just gut wrenching. Um, I thought that Gunslinger Girl was one of the first shows I did at Funimation, and I thought Rico was one of the most heartbreaking characters I have ever seen animated. Um, just wonderful, and what a gift to play, you know, like it, it kind of stabs you in the heart, but then again, that's just what mm -hmm. it is, you know. Okay. So good, it was so good. Another show, Strike Witches, what was it like working on that? <gasps> Super fun, um, because we got to really play with the voices of people all over. We used a lot of different, there were a lot of different voice talent used to voice all the girls, and um, I mean, it's just a hoot, man. You know, every show is not... Uh, brain surgery. Every show is not the most dramatic thing or whatever. And some of them are just like, it's just for enjoyment. And I felt that's what Strike Witches was for a lot of us. We just had a, like, it was just fun. It's just fun. And that's like, at the end of the day, that's your job is to make it fun. Okay. Another show you worked on uh, back in the day, ADV, Air Gear. What was it like working on that? Air Gear. Air Gear was, um, man, that was so much fun. I, and I, I really think about it it, it happened at a time when things were really sort of shifting in anime in a weird way. And so I look back fondly on that show. I feel like it was kind of before a lot of schedule stuff took over and it, everything kind of became a different thing. That was still when um, I saw the same people in the halls all the time. And um, I don't know. It was, it was just a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Plus, you know, I, there's a whole slew of shows I've gotten to do with some really good friends who I admire as, as mm -hmm. artists, and Chris and Monica and all these people. Um, and that was one of them, you know, that we were really proud of. A uh, really fun, lighthearted show you worked on, Bamboo Blade. What was it like working on that? <laughs> uh, Bamboo, Bamboo Blade was uh, special to me um, because I also wrote a lot of it. Um, so... I, I knew that show very well, and when I got to also be Kirino and do that, it was it was just a blast. Like it was it was so much fun. You don't normally get to also perform in what you're writing, so it was great. Plus, writing for girls and slang and stuff like that is a whole trip in and of itself, mm -hmm. where you don't want to be like too slangy and too whatever or repetitive. And that was my first foray into attempting that. Okay. Um, another show you worked on, which I love your character, and she's a riot, Desert Punk. What was it like working on that? Okay, Desert Punk was a blast. So we had a whole list of euphemisms for boobs, and we tried to work every single last one of them into that show, and I think we did. <laughs> Zach um, was our director, and I mean, we just all literally had the best time. And Eric Vale got out so easy. He had like, like no lip flaps. Because he's obscured most of Always the time. Right. But Kosuna was just, you know, a pleasure, a total pleasure. And Stephanie Young does such an amazing job in that. It's just a great show. Um, that's another one where it's like the objective is to be funny mm -hmm. and have a good time. Like, don't overthink it. <laughs> All right. And a more serious show you worked on, D. Gray Man. What was it like working on that? Man, I loved D. Gray Man, and I wish there was more of it. Like, I wanted to do more when it was over. Um, and D. Gray Man was also special in that it was kind of one of the first shows that I wrote a lot of it. And I learned a very valuable lesson during that. Um, 
that when you're writing for Todd Haberkorn, you have to add a whole bunch of words because the man talks faster than anyone in the free world. And like I talk slow, it turns out. You don't know this until you're writing for yourself. I like to love on words and I'll stretch it out. And Todd Haberkorn, his tongue just... So I would consistently be like, everything I wrote for him was so short. So I would just be like, Let's add about 10 words in there for Todd. Mm -hmm. I've decided it's a skill set of his that he can just... But anyway, that was a great show. And it was, it was just so fun. I thought it was really well animated and I just wanted more of it. Okay. I was bummed that there wasn't more when I was done. Now, is there anything that's recently been announced or that you can talk about that you're working on that you'd like to talk about? I don't know. I can't really think of anything um, that I'm allowed to talk about that is new. Um, I think this weekend. I can't really. Uh, yeah, we show. premiered Supersonic Go. Yeah. I just came from that. That's smart. Thank you very much. Um, I just came from that. I'm Suzu in Supersonic Go. And we had our world premiere, and it was hilarious. It was really funny. The first episodes. It was hilarious, yeah, wasn't it? Was it really was really funny. The body cream. Oh my god. It's hilarious, right? And I got to I got to write a line in there, where the whole like paleo and that stuff, mm -hmm. where she's like, maybe she's on the paleo diet, or maybe Atkins. That was me. Um, that was me just kind of writing that in. So that also, I have some some stuff. It's different, but I do audiobooks, and so on Audible.com, there's a bunch of books and stuff like that that I do. A lot of YA titles, so that kind of merges with anime a lot. And lastly, do you have any Facebook or social media that fans can follow you on? I do. My Facebook page, I'm super bad about keeping up with, and I'm sorry about that. There is no good excuse. I just am not that good a multitasker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm getting better, and I actually do have a Twitter now. I'm on Twitter, and I will tweet sometimes, and it is Lucy, L-U-C-I, loves Mike, M-I-C, M-I-C. And it's funny because my husband's name is Michael. All these dudes think that's hilarious. I just want you to know they think I'm super smart. <laughs> they can't wait to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going to do it. Right after this interview, you're scanning on that phone. That's right. That's right. My phone's about to start blowing up, y'all. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us today, Lucy. It was Thank a pleasure, you. and it's awesome to meet you again. Yay! Good to meet y'all, too. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ansel. I'm Lucy. We'll see you next time. <laughs>